Good day, Bermuda. Welcome to the signing ceremony of the United Nations Multi-Country Sustainable Development Cooperation Framework, or the MSDCF 2022-2026. to At this time, I would like to acknowledge the Acting Premier, the Honorable Diallo Rabin, JPMP, the Minister of Social Development and Seniors, the Honorable Tene Farbit, JPMP, Dr. Gary Keneal, the United Nations Resident Coordinator, Head of UN Agencies, Funds and Programs, ladies and gentlemen that are here with us today and those who are going to be tuning in online. At this time, on behalf of the Bermuda Government and the Office of the UN Resident Coordinator, I warmly welcome you to this signing. The Multi-Country Sustainable Development Cooperation Framework for the English and Dutch speaking Caribbean covering the period 2022 to 2026. It is the chief interest, instrument for planning and implementation of the UN development activities towards the fulfillment of the 2030 agenda. In the Caribbean, as elsewhere, the impact of the COVID-19 pandemic aggravated and revealed existing structural vulnerabilities and provides the opportunity to build back better. To address such vulnerabilities, the UN and the governments in the region are committing to contribute to significant structural changes in the economies and governance systems of the countries towards one, economic resilience and shared prosperity, two, equality and well-being, three, resilience to climate change and shocks and sustainable natural resource management, and four, peace, safe, justice, and the rule of law. The vision embodied in the MD, MSDCF is for the region and by extension to Bermuda to become more resilient, possess greater capacity to achieve all of the SDGs, and the MSDCF outcomes cover all SDGs, recognizing their interconnected nature and is guided by the principle of leaving no one behind. Since 2017, the UN and the governments in the region have worked with a multi-country framework to be more efficient, leverage regional synergies, and adopt collective approaches. This current document represents the second generation of this framework. The 2022 to 2026 MSDCF was collegially developed by the six UN country teams covering the 22 countries and territories in the region and their host governments in consultation with regional organizations, the private sector, development partners, civil society organizations, and stakeholders. Today, we are here to endorse the fruit of this labor. We are happy that the government of Bermuda, along with the United Nations, is solidifying their commitment to this process with the signature today. On the one part by the Honorable Tene Farbit JPMP, on behalf of the government and Dr. Gary Keneal, representing the UN agencies, funds, and programs. The hope is that the MSDCF will serve to help advance Bermuda's own national development agenda. I will pause here by providing this background to make way for remarks from Dr. Keneal, who will share with us more about the journey to this moment and the impactful potential in this new instrument for cooperation. Before we hear from Dr. Keneal, I would like to introduce him. He brings over 20 years of experience in his position as the United Nations Resident Coordinator, most of which have been within the United Nations and international NGOs. Prior to his appointment as Resident Coordinator in Jamaica, Dr. Keneal served as Resident Coordinator in Burundi and before that as Under Secretary General for Programs and Operations with the International Federation of the Red Cross and Red Crescent Societies. Ladies and gentlemen, the UN multi-country office led by Dr. Keneal has had to task over the last year of leading the MSDCF development process. While he has served as the chair of UN's regional steering committee, as such and notably, the MSDCF was finalized and designed under his leadership. Please help me make way to welcome Dr. Keneal. Thank you so much, Ms. Alicia.
chart. The Honorable um, Jalu Rabain, Member of Parliament and Acting Premier, Honorable Minister Tine Ferbert, Minister of Social Development and Seniors, other members of government that have joined us, my colleagues from the UN Agencies Fund and Programs, and in particular, um, Mrs. Tani Broadbur, representative of UN Women Multi-Country Office of the Caribbean, as well as Denise Antonio, representative UN Development Program Multi-Country Office with responsibility for Bermuda and colleagues, distinguished members of the Bermudian press, ladies and gentlemen here are, and our guests online, Bermudians, good morning to all, or good afternoon to all. First, allow, first, allow me on behalf of the United Nations Secretary General Antonio Guterres and the regional UN system to congratulate the government of Bermuda for its commitment to further formalizing UN-Bermuda relations with the signature of the multi-country sustainable development framework. Thank you, Acting Premier Rabain, and Minister Ferbert for your support. I also kindly invite you to convey the overwhelming gratitude of the United Nations country team to Premier Burt and Deputy Premier Roban for their unwavering commitment, consultations, and the input they have provided to me and to our UN colleagues in ensuring we arrive at this day. The Sustainable Development Cooperation Framework is the most important instrument for planning and implementation of UN development activities in any given country. As such, my team and I are happy that through the guidance of your government, we have been able to establish a model of engaging with advanced economies like that of Bermuda. The MSDCF, as we like to call it, is a framework designed and built with collaborative partnership and will be implemented through partnership. It is a model of cooperation for which the people and the government of Bermuda can be proud. Let me assure you, ministers, ladies and gentlemen, press, that the four MSDCF pillars fit perfectly within your national priorities and commitment. And as you recover from the worst pandemic in modern time, this framework allows us to open more widely the doors of UN development support to partner and enables you to rebuild even stronger than before. This UN multi-country sustainable development cooperation framework, we believe, supports your government's commitment and goal of bringing Bermuda, of, of bringing Bermuda in increased alignment with the sustainable development goals. The four pillars of the MSDCF speak to economic resilience and shared prosperity, equality and well-being, resilience to climate change and shocks, and sustainable natural resource management, peace, safety, justice, and the rule of law. These MSDCF pillars embody your 2020 commitment to economic development and diversification, social development through access to education and affordable health care, and improving the quality of life for all Bermudians by ensuring a fair and just society. All this while supporting the Premier's mission to accelerate a green energy revolution. I thank again all those who have supported and participated in our consultations, which aided in this strategic alignment. The MSDF's MSDCF provides Bermuda with another opportunity to further meet its commitment to leaving no one behind and to advance and localize the global sustainable development goals. Honorable ministers, I must recognize that your signature to the MSDCF further strengthens UN advocacy for small island states and the recognition of the multiple vulnerabilities that SIDS face. In spite of countries' income classification, small island developing states face unique challenges exacerbated by their risk to shock created by pandemics natural disasters, and climate crisis for which they have no responsibility. Now, one important point I want to state is that recently, uh, Minister Ferbert, I know from your response to the fourth session of the Regional Conference on Social Development in Latin America and the Caribbean held last year, that you welcome the discussions around creating a vulnerability index 
as a replacement for the gross domestic product as a me measure of development, inequality, and stability of social protection systems. Your party to the MSDCF sends a bold message to your regional colleagues that you stand together in this regional call for a vulnerability ex uh, index when assessing small island, state, uh, small island eligibility for development support. Colleagues, today's ceremony is also my opportunity to reaffirm to you the full commitment of the United Nations to the people and government of Bermuda. Over the next few years, I look forward to working together to create shared prosperity and economic resilience. Together, we will raise the bar for equality and well-being leaving no one behind, especially youth, women, and girls. We will rebuild resilience to climate change and other shocks and support sustainable natural resource management. Together, we will promote peace, safety, justice, and the rule of law over the coming, and the rule of law. Over the coming weeks, the programs of work aligned with these principles will be strongly reflected in a country-specific UN country implementation plan. Our commitment is that with our renewed partnership, we will, we will work to meet your vision of rebuilding Bermuda with the Bermudians at the heart. Thank you again so much for this uh, opportunity and this testimony of your commitment. Thank you. Dr. Keneal, at this time we are going to invite the Minister of Social Development and Seniors, the Honorable Tene Farbit, JPMP, to deliver her remarks. Good afternoon, Bermuda. Firstly, I want to welcome the UN Women, the UN Multi-Country Office Delegation Team, and all of the United Nations delegates to our beautiful home, Bermuda. Thank you for your support and initiative in engaging and consulting with Bermuda around our sustainable development priorities. I want to thank the Premier, the Honorable David Burt, who could not be with us today, as well as the Acting Premier, the Honorable Diallo Rubain, for your representation and support today. Today is a monumental day for our country as we embark on a new chapter of collaboration with the United Nations, Bermuda signing into the Multi-Country Sustainable Development Corporation Framework 2022 to 2026 is a significant demonstration of commitment to Bermuda's growth. Through a number of virtual consultations, even during the pandemic, Bermuda's government and private sectors provided active input into the development process of this regional framework. This multi-country framework allows the UN to engage Bermuda more effectively while leveraging the expertise across UN agencies, funds, and programs. In Bermuda, the reality is we face hidden poverty and lack of diversity, equality, and opportunity in education, employment, entrepreneurship, financial structures, and guidance and support for our disadvantaged population. As a country, we must demonstrate our readiness to boldly welcome new opportunities and display our understanding that global partnerships, such as this partnership between Bermuda and the United Nations, are vital to, the, to our progress and success. It is with my deepest gratitude that the Ministry of Social Development and Seniors is the lead ministry for implementing the, the MSDCF. As we are moments away from signing into this agreement, with other Caribbean countries, I am ecstatic to continue the work on our first major project under this new engagement, the joint program, Building Back Equal Through Innovative Financing for Gender Equality and Women's Empowerment. Bermuda, it's time to celebrate and continue the work to grow Bermuda forward. Thank you. Thank you, Minister Farbert. At this time, we are going to welcome the Acting Premier, the Honorable Diallo Rabain, JPMP, to deliver his remarks. Good afternoon, everyone. I would like to extend a warm Bermuda welcome to Dr. Gary Connell and the United, Na the, the United Nations Resident Coordinator and all the United Nations representatives. 
It is my honor to be here this afternoon on behalf of the Premier of Bermuda, the Honorable David E. Burke, e. David Burke and the Government of Bermuda to share in this historic and exciting signing of the United Nations Multicultural, Multicultural Country Sustainable Development Cooperation Framework. I believe you said MFDCS. This is the first ever partnership of its kind with the United Nations and Bermuda. The Bermuda government is pleased to join the United Nations and countries of the region in the multi-country collaborative framework. This is a pivotal opportunity for Bermuda to engage in sustainable development with the United Nations. The vision of the framework is to increase regional resilience, enhance our capability to achieve the UN Sustainable Development Goals, and establish Bermuda as a place where people can reach their full potential. We will focus on advancing gender equality in Bermuda to showcase how innovative financial vehicles, digital platforms, and the UN's women's empowerment principles can be leveraged to close the financial gaps to empower and engage women, entrepreneurs, young people, and those with disabilities. I can attest that the work that the minister, Tanae Ferbert, and her ministry have been involved in by providing a platform for our community members with disabilities, as well as advancing the agenda and opportunities for women, families, and our youth. The Bermuda government will continue to engage with businesses and organizations which seek to create gender equality empower women and youth, promote sustainable economic growth, and build a resilient infrastructure which encourages inclusive and sustainable industrialization and fosters innovation. Through this partnership, the United Nations will support Bermuda's resilience and advance sustainable development with the intent to leave no one behind. On behalf of the Premier and the Government of Bermuda, I look forward to seeing the benefits of this joint partnership with the United Nations and wish nothing but continued success as we move forward with our community at the heart of our focus. Thank you. Please, please, please. 